Hello and welcome to Edikimi's YouTube channel and editorial discussion for 14th April 2022. My name is Harsh Singh and in this video we shall discuss an editorial from The Hindu which is titled The key phrase is focus on the fetus for the future. This editorial is about non-communicable diseases. If you like this initiative, share some love through likes, comments and shares. Let's start the discussion. The editorial says that non-communicable diseases like high blood pressure, stroke, heart diseases, diabetes, cancer, respiratory diseases, all of them are just like a pandemic spreading throughout, just that they are silent and not spreading directly from one human being to the other. They contribute to a majority of deaths worldwide and many of the deaths are premature for the persons who have these non-communicable diseases. The editorial focuses its attention on a specific disease, diabetes. Now, diabetes is a disease which is characterized by special spread of blood sugar levels, high blood sugar levels, which is happening because of mismanagement of the blood sugar. When people eat food, there is a lot of sugar content created and it is in the blood. Now, this sugar needs to be managed and it needs to be kept at certain places. For example, liver is the one which stores glucose and the hormone insulin does this job. Insulin hormone which is secreted by pancreas does this job. In case insulin is not secreted properly by pancreas or there is mismanagement in the blood sugar levels, there is sustained level of high blood sugar in the blood and this later causes lot of issues. This is called as the disease of uh, diabetes also called as hyperglycemia. Hyper means high glycemia relates to the presence of blood sugar and this eventually will affect blood vessels. This will have lot of impacts on heart, eyes, kidney and other problems for the body. In fact, the approximation suggests that we have 5 million, 500 million, almost half a billion cases of uh, of people having diabetes and approximately a similar number of cases who are not detected but still have diabetes. Almost 1 billion people out of around 7 billion of world population. And there are many people in addition to this 1 billion who are in pre-diabetic stage. People who are yet to acquire diabetes and will soon acquire diabetes. This is one of the silent pandemics on the face of earth. Now the causes of diabetes, one of the very natural causes are aging population with age the, the regulatory functions of pancreas that doesn't happen properly, the secretion of insulin does not ha happen properly. Urbanization leading to different kind of lifestyle changes and uh, eating habits, nutrition habits, genetic predisposition that means some genes which are leading to some issues in uh, blood sugar, some issues in uh, release of insulin, those could be other causes. Amongst them is one cause which is not very very popular that is gestational uh, fetal origins of the disease. In fact, many theories say that many of the diseases that humans have have origins in the fetus itself. It is transmitted from the mother to the child. For example, in this particular case, the, the issue of uh, uh, the child gaining this from the mother is something like this. The child also has got a pancreas and they also have uh, uh, the secretion of insulin. In case the mother is going through a level of uh, 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 high blood sugar, high blood sugar, this results in the child gaining high levels of blood sugar. In this case, the child will have reactive tendencies where insulin secreted by the child will be high. This could lead to storage of the excessive blood sugar, sugar in the child resulting in the formation of a big baby. So this, the child gains a disease right from the start. Not only that, this is kind of an adverse programming where if the child is uh, susceptible to any adverse situations, they will automatically start releasing insulin and this will lead to many issues. For example, sustained levels of high caloric food intake, lesser physical activity, all of this will eventually lead to diabetes for the child as well later on. right? So the proper way to turn around an issue like this is that the female who is in her pregnancy must go through diabetes test right? and after test she must take medication to control her blood sugar levels. This is the reason that government has initiated a day called as National Gestational Diabetes Mellitus Awareness Day on 10th of March. In fact, you'd be surprised to know that the effect of diabetes is not limited to this disease itself. It affects many organs because of high blood sugar. 
if the sugar level in blood is high it will start affecting blood vessels and many organs related for example heart uh, brain all the other organs it also leads to obesity you know why it is because when there is high level of blood sugar it also relates to the presence of bad cholesterol bad cholesterol in the body if there is bad cholesterol the deposition of fat will be at various different parts of the body rather than getting stored in the liver and this later causes hypertension which is also called as high blood pressure heart diseases will be another result because heart will be sustained to high blood pressure there will be issues in the eye and other organs imagine the kind of impact this silent pandemic has so therefore one must be aware about the lifestyle changes that are required the gestational impact of a disease like this and what are the ways out all right now if you like this initiative share some love through likes comments and shares and all i would like you to do is type out five diseases that related to contemporary lifestyle and four simple ways to overcome them exercise your mind and a little of your thumbs and you will be right there if you have any doubts post them in the comment section and we will ensure to get back like this initiative if you like this enough thank you for watching